Hi there guys, making a video again and it's been a while and you know I've had a few things going on in my life and it's it's one of those things you know it's like life's up and down and it's hard to just keep track of things and you know continu continuously make videos but you know I've been thinking about a lot of things lately and you know a few subjects in my head have, uh, have resurfaced again <coughs> um, and one of those things is, you know, I'm just going to warn you guys now, if you, you know, it's like a trigger warning. If you don't want to hear anything, I'm going to be talking a little bit, you know, depressing or anything like that. You know, you can click off the video now. But yeah, let's let's get into it. And what I'm getting into is, you know, it's how how to cope with things, in my opinion, and how I, how I cope with things as a male, when my partner um, had a miscarriage and it was a difficult time of my life to get my head around you know because I had to support her going through this you know when she 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 um, lost a child and I had to support her at, at, at every stage you know leading up to um, the, the, the miscarriage you know, planning things, being happy about things, and um, looking forward to having a child and everything like that. And when you know that happens, you know the the bad the bad thing happened to my partner. You know, the miscarriage. You know, the the whole world comes crashing down, and it changes your yeah, mentality. You know, you guys out there. You know, it changes how you think, and how you believe in yourself. <clears throat> because. Most people can get things in life, you know, you can buy things, you know, and, you know, you can see that item and you're going to buy that from the store or the shop or whatever, you know, like a pair of trainers, you know, sneakers, um, you know, like a, a jacket, you know, a hat, you know, whatever it is, handbags and whatever it is, you can buy those things. But, you know, having a child and, and a picture and a child that you've created with someone that you love so dearly into the world. You know that's so precious nobody can ever take take that away from you that that's your creation you can't just go to the store and buy that you know it's funny as it seems but it's it's a thing that you, you know you, you get to to have to cherish that thing you know and you start and picture things in your mind what it's going to be like um a child of your own and when when the world um decides it's not right for you right now and you know your child gets taken away um from you you know and all of that, that stuff you look forward to you know um because you do sometimes you know you, you you rush ahead of things when things happen like you know you, you find out your partner's pregnant and you start thinking of the, the next step the next step the next step and you know you're jumping all these hurdles and it's hard to like to go back from that when your, your partner has a miscarriage you know it's hard to, to come back to reality but all i'm going to say is you know i remember leaving the hospital with my partner that day that she had the scan um, and they the, the, the put the scan the, you know the scan here with the equipment and the, you know i'm gonna skip ahead it's hard to speak about but um you know leaving that that room with with my partner it was hard because we didn't speak to each other you know we didn't see anything and i felt less of a man i felt less of a you know just less of a guy less of a person for not knowing what to say you know for not having the right words to make her better to make her feel better you know and that's all right you know i know that's all right that's fine to think and feel like that because that's called human and a lot of guys out there don't realise that, um, you know, being male comes with a lot of, you know, um, responsibility. You've got to be this this tough guy and you've got to have this persona of, like, um, nothing phases you. But believe me, you know, that day at the, at the hospital, you know, that news and, you know, it broke me. It broke me to bits, you know, I just couldn't speak and... At the time, I felt wrong for not knowing, not knowing what to say to my partner, not knowing the right words to make her life just feel a little bit better, you know. 
to put her in the right direction and to tell her she's going to be fine and everything's going to be all right. I just, I just couldn't, you know, I just couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop. I just, I just couldn't focus on her grief, on her loss, because I was too wrapped up on myself and my own feelings and what just happened. And yeah, it sounds selfish. It does sound selfish and it sounds heartless. But you don't know how to think of anybody else but yourself when that moment happens. You know, it's something that you really wanted. It was this child that you had hopes and dreams and plans and everything on. You, you, you know, and, and, if, and this happens and it's, it's cruel and, it's, and it hurts. And, you know, that, that walk, and I keep repeating myself, you know, with, you know, down the corridor in the hospital with my partner. It was, um, it was, it was difficult, you know. Then, you know, we got home and I, I came to speak to her, you know, um, and we sat down and then I realized there is, there is two people that, that are suffering. There is two people that are relating to the same issue. You know, she, she is going through a hell of a lot of things in her mind that she can't put straight. She, she can't even, even understand what's happened, you know, just the same as myself and the same as everybody else. That, that you know has a miscarriage it's it's one of those things and this you know this this like mother's instinct that she had that she shared with this child is taken away from her too it's taken away from her that's that's now not there for her you know so i've now got to be there for her as well as her partner um not just as a male as her partner just to sit down and tell her everything's going to be all right because you've always got each other you know and you can be upset and and not and and not try and sort things out but you've got to consider somebody else's feelings as well you know you've got to consider how they feel and how they think and what's going on in their head you know it's it's always nice to 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 sort of get to the bottom of how they feel in their mind and you know i did that you know i tried my best and now we're still together you know um, we're still together now to this day, you know, I've been with my partner for 10 years and funny as it is, you know, I, I've always said I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything in the relationship, but that day, you know, yeah, w without question, I would change, um, losing something I really wanted in, in life, um, which was a child, um, something I've actually got to you know, just to give give somebody something that you've always um, tried your best to. Um, you know, basically, what I'm saying is you, you've always tried to. You've always you've always wanted just just to something that you can love that you thought you would never love more than anybody, and just give them everything they want. You know, and and say that's my life complete. You know, I've got my partner, and now I've got kids, and you know, dog, and <laughs> whatever it is. But life doesn't work that way, you know, which has screwed me up. Um, and I've got to live with that. And I've got to live with that that pain. Um, virtually, like you know, nearly every day, you know. But it's it's fine, you know. And I've now come to terms with with grief is hard life, and love. It's a big circle, and there's o there's only so many people I can take. Yeah, um, you know, it's just just a, there's still so many people I can take setbacks sort of setbacks and setbacks you know I'm, and i just feel sometimes it's like that for me you know just keep getting you know setbacks in life but i do keep pushing forward and doing youtube and making youtube videos you know and you know a bit off subject you know but making youtube videos every day and people watching what i do um makes me smile and makes you guys who watch my videos you know my dance videos um you know, subscribe to my channel and, you know, give me a, a thumbs up, you know, a like, um, give me a good comment and stuff like that. That's what matters in my life um, at the moment. Doing YouTube um, is, is give me a different look in life. It's give me a different direction. You know, it's just knowing that you've got support, that you're not alone, 
you know it's nice to have that that avenue just to switch off and do something that that's um always beneficial for yourself and also other people that are going through things it's nice to um share stories and i know a lot of things i've mentioned um in the past and maybe there's a lot of things i've mentioned right now in this video don't make sense to you guys because you know i talk really fast and i get a little bit flustered in conversation or you know whatever it is i'm just trying to you know just just put a message out there that you know it's not always nice to talk to your partner about how you feel about things it's it you know it it's it, you know it's like it, it can mend a relationship just by speaking you know whatever has happened you, you can always chat about something you know because you did love that person at one at one point in their life you've always nice to try and find something again you know for that person if you if you ever anybody anybody's out there that feels as though that that relationship is is not going well or there's something that they don't like about each other you know just sit and talk about it and you know um and it really helps you know it, it just gets stuff in your mind and that other person now realizes how you felt or how you feel towards them and you know the, the same you know vice versa you know but yeah it's um <clears throat> it's it's difficult to um always you know pretend i guess to be happy you know a lot of people um have have confidence but sometimes it's fake you know fake confidence you know especially as guys um you can you can push yourself to limits that you just don't even realize that we don't realize as guys um and before you know it you know you're doing everything and, and letting other people speak for you and and now that's who you are you can't change being that person now because people put you in this category that's you for life because you can't be affected and you can't be wounded by anything because you're strong and you're you know you, you don't show face and whatever it is you just you, you just power through power through things as a male no i don't believe that you know i don't i don't think that's that's the right way to be you know if you're hurt you're human and you get upset it doesn't matter what it is if it if it upsets you you know just just speak about things if you can you know just speak to anybody and you know it's nice just to um to have that other person um just just to hear you out just somebody to listen listen to what's going on in your life what's happened in your day you know it could be work it could be anything you know it could be whatever it is it, it's just that one problem that you've had that day that person's taking time out of their life or their day to listen to you it's really it's really helpful and it helps you you might not realize that people that don't trust chatting about things or speaking about things it does help and it saved a lot of lives you know um you know even if you want counseling it can also help um you know there's there's, there's people out there that can that can you know help you as well you know counselors and things like that it's it's, it's really um helpful you know i, I had counseling um for my psychosis slash like schizophrenia um and that really helped me you know um you know struggling with psychosis was 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 tough you know by itself you know just having that constant feeling you know um not wanting to be a part of life not wanting to be a part of the world and i guess sort of somebody speaking to you about this like a counselor it, it just you know like you know like counseling session after counseling session after counseling session helped me grow and realize it wasn't just me that, f that had this 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 mental health problem there's all sorts of us and there's thousands of other people out there that's got this so you're not alone so that's how talking can help you know it, it, it makes you realize you're, you're not just the only person in the world with this feeling um and that's what it is you know that's that's how talking helps it helps you grow as a person i believe and and you know it's it's not it's not quite um sorry it's not quite um as easy as i'm saying i understand that you've still got to um want to help yourself as well you've got to want to help um you know you've got to want to help yourself do to push yourself to find that help help yourself to push yourself to have to find that help <laughs> it's it's the most hardest thing in the world to push yourself and say okay i, I recognize 
I have a problem or I have got a problem and I now I need to find help for this problem. Um, and that's a big step, you know, that's the first step and that's the best step to realise that you have got this problem. And it pushes yourself, push yourself to go forward and to the next step, to the next step, because if you've got to that first step of recognising you've got a problem, you know, truthfully, the next step's going to be even easier and easier and easier. You know, there will be, you know, rocky patches and, you know, tough times down that, down that road, you know, and, and down that time of getting the help. But, you know, you, you will, life will get better and easier. But, you know, I've, thanks for listening. And, um, you yeah, know, I really appreciate everybody for listening to, to what I've had to say, you know. It's just getting to think about things sometimes it's hard to... um. You know, but yeah, if you if you if you've got problems, just just push yourself to get help, and and find a way to um to push yourself past past your struggles. You know, because people do care, and people do love in life. You know, people forget. There's always somebody that cares about you, and thanks, <laughs> thank you guys.